beauty haul. It's been quite a while since I've been shopping for makeup. Not that I really need to be shopping for makeup, but you guys know how we do sometimes. We buy stuff and we don't even need it. Um, but actually, that wasn't the case this time because um, I needed some foundations. I was out of all of my favorite foundations. So yeah, I can kind of justify buying some of this stuff because I was out of my favorite foundations. So I have some things from Sephora and MAC and then drugstore.com because time she did a haul video not too long ago and I swear she just sucked me in to go shopping online so that's what I did and yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so we're gonna start off with Sephora because like I was telling you guys I was out of some of my favorite foundations and two of the ones that I really love I get from Sephora so it's the NARS sheer glow and then it's also the makeup forever HD I love 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 both of these foundations I cannot live my makeup life without these they are absolutely amazing so the first one I'm gonna show you guys is the NARS sheer glow and it's in the color medium dark to Taiho this is actually the foundation that I wore for my wedding day and I could not have been more impressed with the quality of this foundation it is absolutely amazing now I do feel like the name is a little bit contradicting because it does say that it's sheer but there ain't nothing sheer about this foundation honey this is a full coverage foundation in my opinion you guys know I do have a couple of dark spots on my cheeks and this seems to cover up those perfectly it's a really nice foundation it's full coverage but it's not too heavy so I just really love it I used to have this in the color cadet but that was way too dark for me and somehow I busted it because I was twisting the top on too tight and it just shattered the entire glass bottle so be careful oh and they also do have pumps for these um, but you have to buy them separately so my pump is on my old foundation that's empty right now but um yeah this is just my favorite favorite foundation or one of them so if you guys haven't tried this definitely look it up and try it out because it is amazing um so my next favorite foundation is the makeup forever hd and i have this in the color n 173 and that is what it looks like i've been using this foundation for quite some time now like ever since i was in orlando that was the first time that i ever purchased this foundation and oh my gosh i just love it so much it really does give you that flawless um appearance on film and pictures I didn't choose to wear this one on my wedding day because I don't know I think I like the sheer glow a little bit better but this is an awesome foundation as well really if you're looking for a foundation that's gonna photograph well I don't think that you're going to go wrong with either foundation but um I think people will probably um, suggest this one because it is HD but in my personal humble opinion I think that you could go for either or and you will be good but this is a really great foundation and they have a wide range of foundation colors so that's really good especially for us darker skin sisters because sometimes it is really tough for us to find the perfect foundation shade and girlfriend I ain't got time for mixing shades especially when foundations cost $50 a piece no boo boo I don't have time for that so yeah those were the two foundations that I picked up and then I picked up another thing that's like a staple item for me and it's the bad gal lash from benefit I absolutely love 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 this mascara so um that's what the packaging looks like and it's really cute and it has a really big one I don't know why I like that but it just reminds me of old school mascaras I personally like both the bad gal lash and also the benefit they're real but I was just out of this one so I decided to go ahead and pick it up but definitely a staple in my makeup collection also from Sephora, I picked up this hydrating toner by Murad, 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 Murad. Hmm, I don't know, but yeah, M-U-R-A-D. And I got this because when I was watching Tom's makeup haul, she got this and she just totally, she sold it to me. So I was like, let me check this out. So it says it rebalances and rehydrates skin. It restores pH balance and neutralizes surface impurities. So yeah, this sounds like your girl needs it. I'm definitely going to add this to my um, skincare routine, which I want to do a video for you guys, like showing you guys how I take off my makeup because I'm always showing you guys how to apply the makeup. So I need to show you guys how to properly, prop, 
properly remove your makeup because that's just as important because you don't want to go to sleep with all that extra makeup on your face so yeah I will be doing that soon I haven't used this but as soon as I do I will let you guys know how great it is next thing I got from Sephora was also a backup It's this hand food hydrating hand cream this stuff is amazing I already have it in my purse and literally I have used every drop my hands are always really really dry like they look like I punch bricks for a living or something like that because they're always dry and ashy so I have to always make sure that I'm putting a lot of moisturizer on but when I use the hand food like it just really seems to hydrate my hands and it just leaves them feeling really nice and soft and every time I go to the nail salon I'll pull this out and I'll be like can you give me a little massage and they always do it so yeah that's how I use most of it up but I just love this stuff okay so that was everything that I purchased from Sephora so I'm gonna put that to the side now we're gonna talk about Mac um you guys know that I'm just a matte girl. I'm obsessed with them. Like that's probably what 75% of my makeup collection is matte. So um, I was telling you guys I had to pick up my favorite foundations. You guys know that I am a diehard Studio Fix Fluid girl. That's the foundation that I'm wearing right now. I love me some Studio Fix Fluid. I know a lot of people have problems with this. They say that it breaks them out. But for me, I've been wearing this as long as I've been into makeup. So since 2010, I have been wearing this foundation and it has not stirred me wrong it's absolutely amazing i know if you have sensitive skin that you probably shouldn't get this because i just hear so many horror stories but for me my skin's pretty tough so i don't have any problems with breakouts or anything like that so yeah this is the studio fix fluid and i am an nc45 so i also decided to get another foundation which is new i have never tried this before it's not new but it's new to me and it's the face and body foundation now I decided to get this because in the summertime I sometimes like a light coverage because it's so hot like you guys know it gets really hot here in Alabama if you've never experienced Alabama summer weather then you've never experienced any hot weather because it's so it's just really humid and like I don't know anyways <laughs> um yeah this is the face and body foundation and I just wanted to try something that was going to be a little bit more light and this is also water resistant so I felt that it would be really nice and maybe if I wanted to put on a little light layer of foundation going to the pool or the beach I could do this and not have to worry about it you know running off because it is water resistant the only thing is I think that they match me for the wrong color now I did order this online but I called Mac on Online and I was like okay I'm an NC 45 what would I be in the face and body and they said a C7 now for me the C7 really doesn't match the NC 45 from um, studio fix fluid I don't know maybe I just need to apply it and see how it applies but I will let you guys know if this C7 works for me also for Mac I picked up this set powder this was another thing that Tom talked about in her haul video and ever since that video she has absolutely raved about this so I definitely had to pick it up and give it a try um so this is what it looks like it just comes in this little jar like this and it's just a translucent powder now I really look forward to using this because I do have the prep and prime but it's now in a compact so you don't have to worry about you know shifting it out or anything like that but um this I hear it just gives you just a really nice like filter pretty much like I cannot wait to try this product out because I've heard a lot of people raving about this I also got a lipstick from Mac and then when I was going through the box I found another product from Sephora and I'll just go ahead and talk about this really quick um this is from NARS and it's a bronzing powder in the color casino I actually already had one of these but I think I left it in LA because I cannot find it anywhere um so yeah that's what the packaging looks like it has a really huge mirror and then here is the product and it's just a contour powder and I really really love this but I could not I could not find it anywhere so I was like let me go ahead and repurchase it but my luck now that I've bought another one I'll find it and it'll just be chilling on my vanity or something and yeah I'll have two of them but yeah I've really been enjoying this because it doesn't have a lot of shimmer in it you guys know I was using the elf which I really really love but honestly I wish that they would come out with one that was just an entire bronzer instead of blush on one side and a bronzer on the other side 
side and then also I wish they would kind of tone down the shimmer in it because it does have a lot of shimmer but um the reason I got this one was because it doesn't have as much red in it and it does not have any shimmer so yeah I will be doing an updated highlighting and contouring video for you guys I know I've been promising it for a while but I promise you guys it's coming just wait on it <laughs> um so the lipstick that I got from MAC it's called Naked Bud, and I think this might have been limited edition. I'm not really sure. I think it's a nude color. So that's the packaging. You guys know MAC lipsticks come in a little bullet tube. And that's the color. It's just a nude color. And I've really been into nudes here lately. So yeah, really gorgeous color. Oh, and I also want to talk to you guys about some things that I just got from Whitening Lightning because, oh my gosh, you guys know I've never really been really into lip glosses, but I have been obsessing over these Whitening Lightning glosses. So I got three new ones and I am just so in love. So the first one I want to talk about is this nude color and the name is Nude. I'm actually wearing it right now. And oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful lip gloss that I have ever worn in my life. Like seriously, my favorite one used to be NARS Turkish Delight, but no, 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 no. Whitening Lightning Nude has definitely took its place. What I really love about these glosses, other than the beautiful colors, is that they have a little light inside of them, and then they also have a mirror on the back. So if you happen to be up in a club or somewhere and you want to apply your um, lip gloss and it's really dark, you have this little light. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But then you also have the mirror on the back and you can just apply it. And this is such a gorgeous color. I have been so obsessed with it. I don't have on any other lip color or anything like that. Just this lip gloss and I love it so much. And again, this is in the color Nude. And then the other two that I got are new colors. And this one is called Pouty Princess. And then they all have the little mirror and the light. So this is what that one looks like really really gorgeous pink color not sure if you can see it for the lighting but really really pretty then the next one i have is a darker color it kind of reminds me of max rebel and this one is called seduction and it also has the light and it's just a really dark vampy purple color really really gorgeous Lightning Lightning also has BB creams now, so I got this as well. Um, it is a new product that they have on their line. I'm not really experienced when it comes to BB cream, so I thought that I would go ahead and try this one out and see how well I like it. So I will let you guys know. I kind of need to do a little bit more research on the BB creams because some of them I noticed are kind of like illuminators and then some of them give you coverage. So I need to do a little bit more research on them because I'm a little confused about them at this point but I will be giving this one a shot okay and the very last things that I want to show you guys are from drugstore.com I don't have too many things from them but one thing that I did pick up is this Pond's cold cream cleanser I have heard so many people rave about this and talk about how they use it to remove their makeup I actually seen Dulce Candy use this in her nighttime skincare routine and she used this to take off her eye makeup and also her face makeup I think so I was just really in press right now I'm using my Mac cleanse off oil I think it is and I'm not really loving it as much as I thought I would so I figured I would give something else a try and this is really affordable I want to say that this big jar was probably about seven dollars and it's 9.5 ounces so I thought that that was a really good deal so whenever I do my nighttime skin skin whenever I do my nighttime skincare routine I will show you guys how I use this product and also from there I I got these little things and they're called Swispers. Um, they're just little ultra soft cotton pads that you can use to remove your eye makeup. You can use them to take off your fingernail polish, whatever you need them for. And I figured that they would be really good for removing eye makeup because they are really big. You can also get these at Walmart if you don't want to order them online or anything like that. All right, guys, so that was my beauty haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, wherever you are. Oh, and I also wanted to let you guys know that I have a Tumblr page. 
I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but I will put the link below. Follow me on there. I'm really enjoying like posting stuff, like just things that inspire me and all things beautiful and girly and cute. So yeah, follow me on um, Tumblr if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you and I will talk to you in another video. a little bit until